Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 25th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Now, I have some footage here I want to share with you. Looking at the storm coverage from around the world, and we had uh, two large storms, Typhoon Trammy and also Leslie, who is now a subtropical storm, four areas of interest. Here's a look at uh, Typhoon Trammy, who is getting ready to jog north towards Japan. Now, originally the trajectory was to Taiwan, but now it looks like it's going to head north towards Japan. So Japan, get ready for another super typhoon. We're also going to look at the other storms. Areas of interest, four. But then subtropical storm, Leslie. This is what's left of Leslie. Overnight, Leslie was squeezed by two high pressure ridges on either side just kind of blew it right out of tropical storm condition. Also looking at this area of interest off the coast of the United States. Very high cloud tops and this very well could have been a very dangerous storm. Now our governments have the technology to control the weather. What technologies they use is still under research and to find out for everybody else. But I want to share my research right here with you guys right now. Because something weird happened. So this is just a regular visible image through the geostationary satellite. But see how it just disappeared? That low pressure center? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this over to a higher level, ozone level. See all those flashy spots? What's going on there? You don't see it anywhere else in these areas, high cloud top areas. You don't see those white spots. They're not anywhere. So it's not lightning. It's something else. It's our stratosphere clouds mixing with the cosmic rays in our ionosphere. These very high cloud tops are reaching our ionosphere and burning up like that. But overnight, pretty much this Hurricane Leslie became a subtropical storm overnight after seeing these anomalies in the sky. It's very strange. Now here's an article from May 2018. Okay, so China is launching weather control machines across their nation. This is the article. So China's state-owned Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation is implementing a plan to send thousands of rain-inducing machines across the Tibetan Plateau to increase rainfall along the region, drought-stricken regions. They are launching the world's largest weather control machine with the ability to modify the weather in an area similar to the size of Alaska. China has never shied away from doing things on a massive scale, and this is yet another example of how the Chinese government working on an unprecedented scale. The Tibetan Plateau is the source of much of China's water, running down from the mon mountainous highlands via the massive Yangtze, Mekong and Yellow Rivers. These rivers, which originate on the Tibetan Plateau, are fed by glacier, snow and meltwater that drain down into the fertile Chinese farmlands. So each rain machine is expected to create a three mile long strip of billowing clouds. 
When manipulated by the thousands of chambers China is installing along the Tibetan Plateau, it is estimated that China will be artificially controlling the weather over an area similar to the size of Alaska. China plans to monitor the system through weather satellites and supplement with silver iodide particles deployed from planes and shot out of ground artillery. In total, the Chinese government expects the system, which will span 620,000 square miles, to produce up to 10 billion cubic meters of rainfall each year. That is quite an amazing feat. If the system works as expected, it would equal roughly 7% of China's annual water consumption, helping China quench the thirst of its 1.4 billion people. So, I mean, we won't know the repercussions of the, all of these weather modifications until it's too late. So as we look around our world and we see these changes, I mean, yeah, granted, they could quite possibly have destroyed a major catastrophic storm heading towards the United States again. And if that is the case, then yay, great. They, they're saving us, okay? But our world powers have more in mind than just controlling a hurricane and destroying a, a hurricane. So now, this is another area here where I saw a few of those white flashes. And in Mexico, there's always strange stuff happening in the skies in Mexico. So stay aware and prepared folks, our governments are controlling the weather big time and they could, they quite possibly have destroyed a catastrophic storm heading towards the United States. They've been spraying our skies since the 1930s. They're admitting it more and more every day, injected aerosol into our upper atmosphere. It's happening worldwide. Do we consent? I don't think we have a choice. All I can say is that our governments know more than us. And if they're trying to save us, then yay. If not, then we need to keep researching here. I appreciate you guys watching today. I really wanted to share this with you today. This is a pretty big deal. China orchestrating a 620,000 square mile weather modification facility to create rain in the drought-stricken areas of China. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.